Imagine spaceships traveling faster than the speed of light. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been a dream for sci-fi fans and physicists alike, warp drives. While it sounds like pure science fiction, researchers are actually exploring the theoretical foundations of warp drives, grounded in Einstein's general relativity. Let's break down what these warp drives are, the challenges they present, and the fascinating new study that simulates what might happen if one of these drives ever broke down. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. Warp Drive Basics So, what exactly is a warp drive? In science fiction, it's a technology that lets spaceships travel faster than light by bending or warping spacetime. The idea isn't just fiction, though, it's based on real physics, specifically Einstein's general relativity. But here's the catch. Actually building a warp drive would require exotic materials that we don't currently have, like negative energy. Plus, controlling and deactivating such a drive poses huge challenges. Chapter 2. The New Study. Simulating a Warp Drive Breakdown. This brings us to the latest research, a collaboration between physicists from Queen Mary University of London, the University of Potsdam, the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics, and Cardiff University. These researchers aren't claiming to have built a warp drive, but they've taken a big step forward by simulating what might happen if a warp drive were to fail. Dr. Katie Clough from Queen Mary University, the lead author of the study, explains that even though warp drives are theoretical, they're well defined in general relativity. This means we can use numerical simulations to predict what might happen if one of these drives collapsed. Chapter 3. Gravitational Waves and Their Signals So, what did they find? According to the simulations, a collapsing warp drive would generate a burst of gravitational waves, a ripple in space-time. These waves would be different from the ones we detect from black hole and neutron star collisions. Instead of a long, drawn-out signal, this would be a short, high-frequency burst. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Current gravitational wave detectors, like LIGO, wouldn't be able to pick up this signal because it's too high frequency but future detectors might be able to. The technology to build these high-frequency instruments exists, and if they ever get funded, we could potentially use them to search for evidence of warp drives, even if we can't build one ourselves. Chapter 4. Implications for Future Research Professor Tim Dietrich from the University of Potsdam, another researcher on the team, highlights an exciting aspect of the study accurately modeling the dynamics of negative energy spacetimes. This could help us understand the evolution of the universe or what's happening at the center of black holes. So, while warp speed might still be a distant dream, this research is pushing the boundaries of what we know about spacetime and gravitational waves. Warp drives may remain in the realm of science fiction for now but studies like this are essential for expanding our understanding of the universe. Who knows? Maybe one day, these simulations will help guide the development of real-world warp technology. Source. University of Potsdam. What do you think? Are warp drives the future of space travel, or are they just a sci-fi fantasy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by the mysteries of space as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the cutting edge of science. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.